Hello, my name is Mike Porn. I'm the superintendent of schools for Bentonville, and this is another Minute with Mike. Today's July 16th as we do this filming, and uh, we just finished a board meeting last night that uh, really got to do several things. One, we got to hire a, a variety of new staff. We're excited about that. We also got to move forward in terms of presenting a, a PowerPoint that we can use in our community for our upcoming millage. So it was a, a very positive meeting, and, and boy, school is right around the corner. I'll finish with a, a thought about school right around the corner uh, as I end this segment. Today, I'm fortunate to have uh, Andy Mays, uh, who is our Director of Technology. Andy's been on the job for really about 18 months, um, almost a year and a half uh, with us, and, and we've really seen some dramatic change. One, uh, uh, where we're filming today um, is uh, really a result of, of your efforts and a lot of other people on your staff to say, we need to do something. When you look at a brand new facility or a remodeled facility um, for technology, what, what's happened uh, as we've added on and remodeled to increase our capability from where we were in the past? Well, it's really been a, an amazing transformation, Mr. Poor. We have uh, added capacity for training facilities. We have increased our infrastructure uh, to support additional load, additional servers. Uh, we have an entirely new data center that uh, is state-of-the-art, has uh, new heating and air facilities. Uh, a great deal of the investment in this facility was put into the infrastructure behind that in the electrical subsystems, uh, new generator power systems, just to increase the stability of, of our overall district network uh, in the event of, of any kind of weather event or other disaster. Well, my first year as I came into the district, which really wasn't as hot as last summer, I think we got lucky last summer, but the, the previous summer um, we were down. Um, and I could tell it. We were on, I was actually on a vacation, and I could see that my email wasn't working, and come to find out we had basically the heat had uh, created a, a situation where our systems did go down and, and disrupted uh, work efforts for a lot of our staff. So this is a very big thing that, that we've accomplished. Um, this also has a, a training component that's a part of this new environment. It does. We have a new 30-seat training lab uh, that is uh, state-of-the-art, brand new technology equipment throughout, uh, and that's in addition to the old 20-seat lab that we've also remodeled. So uh, we've upgraded our spaces, we've increased our capacity so we can bring through teacher groups and offer them technology training and let them use those facilities for their own programs as well. One other aspect that's a part of this building is that um, we have a, a call center capability, a help desk, that I, I know you've really um, tried to expand and, and create a better way for staff to communicate when they're having issues. Uh, give me a, a sense of how much traffic goes through our, our help desk. Um, I don't know whether you say that daily or monthly. How do you track that? Well, I think the, the best figure that will describe to you how we have become victims of our own success uh, in the last year with our new help desk uh, is that we have more than doubled the number of requests that come in on an annual average. And that means that this year we processed over 12,000 help requests through that system. Unbelievable. 12,000. And you think of our, our school district of having uh, 15,000 students, more or less, and then uh, staff, it's about 2,000, so uh, it's, it's significant. I think that one of the big accomplishments of your tenure um, in this 18 months has been our uh, movement to get uh, more computers in the classroom. We've gone from basically a 7 or 8 to 1 ratio down to almost 2 to 1, and obviously that enhances the, the number of tickets that you're going to get. Besides this whole thing of, of you know, creating more computers for students and teachers to use, what are some other things that you're really proud of um, about what's happened in your tenure? Well, we're very excited right now about the implementation of what we're calling our dense wireless network, which we have rolled out through the course of the last year. Uh, that basically puts a wireless access point in every single classroom and instructional area throughout the district. And that gives us a capacity to allow 70 to 80 devices per individual classroom. Uh, and the impact of that is to allow not only district-owned devices to be used in those classrooms, but we're also now implementing our Bring Your Own Device policy, which allows students to bring in their own technology and connect through our district network 
and have access to the resources that they need online. Kids are going to be fired up about that. They seem to be <laughs> pretty responsive when we tell them that. Yeah, and I think our teachers are excited about that opportunity as well. Um, anything else that you'd share that you're excited about? I, I think that uh, the future is, is really bright for technology in Bentonville. These investments that we've made, not only in this facility, but just in the infrastructure as a district as a whole, uh, open up the possibilities for us in, in wonderful new ways to transform the classroom with the use of that uh, bring your own device and our own technology in the classroom. Uh, one example being the 21st century program where we've rolled out laptop carts in now over 50 classrooms across the district and I think we'll just want to see that continue to grow and, and have students uh, maintain access to technology and information resources throughout the school day. Andy, you're, you're very well connected in the state and even you know, monitor everything that's going on in the national scene and that's what makes you such a good director. Um, that also gives you a, a leverage point, so to speak, of looking out and not only understanding what you think is going to happen but seeing what other people believe is going to take place in the, in the next five to ten years. What's something that you kind of project yourself to say, I think this is going to happen and we're going to have to deal with it? I think that you're going to see more and more progression towards what we refer to as the ubiquitous computing environment and that means that the technology itself has a smaller profile and uh, people are actually interacting with computing technology without a form factor such as a laptop or a desktop computer. It's, it's just embedded into their daily lives. Hey, I, I think we already have kids that are in some ways already there. <laughs> so, and some staff. As we wrap up uh, this minute with Mike, and it's been a pleasure getting to talk to you, uh, Andy, and, and, and we really have a, a fantastic tech department. Um, you've got a great crew that, that works here and supports our, our schools. Um, they're going fast and hard to get ready for the school year. As a community, we want you to understand that next week we have new teachers coming back to work for our non traditional calendars. Uh, schools, meaning Baker and Elm Tree. We'll have new teachers in next week. Uh, kids uh, at those schools back the first week of August. And then new teachers arriving for our traditional schools also that first week of August. So summer vacation is basically over for all of us. Uh, and uh, it is time to get cranking and be ready to welcome kids and staff back. And we're, we're excited about that. Uh, we wish you all a great week. And we thank, again, Andy and, and the tech staff for letting us uh, be with you today.